good morning everyone uh, i'm joseph i'm here to talk about improving the future of wireless communications so my journey begins in nairobi in around 2006 so after messing around with the video protocols and trying to get um, video streaming working over wireless links uh, i realized that it wasn't a software problem it was a hardware problem uh, i spent quite a number of nights trying to hack away and trying to get the software to work but i never quite got it right so eventually i got a job in in cape town and then while i was here i went back to uct and decided to do some research on on hardware and trying to see how we can get the hardware to to um to be able to uh, work faster in, in terms of wireless communications so that's what i've been researching on for the last two years and um i realized that um, one way we can improve our communications and um, improve say the coverage area uh, for, uh, for wireless links is to try and create better antennas because the antennas we use right now, are, uh, the designs are probably around 40 years old. So we need to try and see how we can use nanotechnology to improve our antennas. In the same way we are improving um, our processors and our hard disks using nanotechnology. So that's part of the research I did at Cape Town and I got some interesting, some good results. Um, yeah, so by designing special structures, I designed them at the macro level, but if you try and design these structures at the, uh, at the nano level, I do believe that uh, the antennas we have will have get a better coverage area. And, um, and also one thing I realized is if your antennas use less power, then, um, which, is, which is also pointing towards green radio, then it also means that um, we can achieve higher speeds. There's some equations and mathematical formulas which I won't bore you with <laughs> right now. But there's, um, yeah, it will also improve the, the speed of communications. So it will mean that 10 years from now, in an urban area, if you need to do your, your Wi-Fi or your, um, your 3G, or, or it will probably be 10G then, you need to worry if there's lots of people around you. You can all fit into the same space. So I, designed, I also designed some software-defined radio and got it to work with current chips. So that's another thing. Um, if we use software-defined radio for, de for designing our wireless networks, it will free up the... Okay, network operators only need to reinvest in, in new hardware each every two or three years because technology is, is moving really fast. All they need to do is upgrade their, their hardware and um, that will free them, that will free the network operators up and free their, their investment up to invest in rural areas, which is very important in Africa. And if you can manufacture this in Africa, well, the better because um, that's, that's, that's the only way you can... Um, improve our livelihoods. So that's yeah, in all my talk. Thanks.